Here we are continuing with our game. Let's go ahead and have a look at our game. I'm going to hit F5 to start our game up here. We can move around and we can jump. We can double jump and we can collect some coins. Again, this video is from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. There's a link in the description to my website. And uh, yeah, this is part three in a video series. Be sure to check out the previous videos where you can get the assets and follow along to where we're at right now. Uh, we'll hit escape to get out of our game and we are on our map tab here and if you've closed everything out uh, the map will be under scenes is where we put it and you can always just double tap map 01 so here is our map we put down coins but look they're all they're all kind of crooked because I placed them by hand let's go ahead and just select them all and hit delete okay now our coin still exists over here it's just not on our map let's choose our map and down here under uh, let's see tile set so select our tile map layer, select tile set, say plus, and choose where it says scene collection. At that point, we can come over here to our tree and under resources, objects, coin, we can find our coin TSCN and drag that to here. We can now select that and now we can use that to draw, draw to our scene. So we're going to choose this, we're gonna click tile map, and we can go from our tile here, which right now we're only using one of these tiles. Obviously you can use more in your game. We're just trying to keep things simple. We'll select on our scene collection here. We'll choose this, make sure we're on draw. And now we can go like this and it's gonna draw it in a perfect little grid. So things aren't crooked. It also prevents us from having a bazillion of them in our tree list here, uh, which can get kind of sloppy. sloppy. F5 to play our game. go we're collecting coins now let's add some music to our game right so we're gonna say uh, map I'm gonna right click on our map here I'm gonna say child and I'm gonna say here we'll type in audio if you don't already have it typed in and we're gonna say audio stream player not 3d or 2d just audio stream player this will play it out of both speakers and we'll just rename it by clicking on it here to music now we need some music to play Okay, I'm going to bring over my file manager. So you can grab any MP3, WAV file, or AUG file. So just any audio file. And we're going to drag it into our project here. Actually, let's create a folder to put it in. I'm going to click on Resources. Right click here, and I'm going to say Create New Folder. I'll call it Music. And now we have a music folder. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to drag this music file. It did not go into my music folder. Let's go ahead and now drag it up into our music folder. I can get rid of this window now. Okay, so now we have a folder with our music in it. Again, any MP3 WAV file or AUG file. And we'll choose our music here. We're going to go over to Inspector here and under Stream, under Empty, we will drag in our music. This is just a quick little song I wrote. And we're going to say Autoplay. So we'll start playing as soon as we start our game. escape to escape our game is looking pretty good we got sounds we got a, a, a character we can control things we can collect let's go ahead and build up our level a little bit more so we're going to choose our tile map layer here we'll go to monochrome uh, map here and then we want to make sure we choose the tile that we've already set although we can create other ones but I'm just going to go with this one which we've already set collisions up for it remember in the first video when we set collisions so if you're going to do other tiles and you want the player to collide with them, you're going to want to set that up uh, as well, just like we did in the first video. So I'm going to try, draw another platform here, another platform here, another platform here. Let's erase this one. We'll go up a little bit higher right there. So now I'll hit F5, start our game, and you'll see I can go up here. Oops. And I'm off the screen. Well, that's no good. I mean, it's fine if you're going to have you go to another screen like you did in old school games, but all we have to do for this is take our camera here and we are going to go ahead and place it on our player. So now it's attached to our player. Now we're also going to line it up how we want to look at our player here. 
And now it should follow our player. We'll hit F5. Great. So it's following our player. It's, it's very uh, rough and jagged though. So what we want to do now is with the camera selected, we're going to say position enable smooth and you can set the speed but this is going to give a little bit delay so when the player jumps the camera isn't locked to it uh, so we'll hit F5 now and you'll see the camera smoothly scrolls so let me set this number a little bit higher just to exaggerate a little bit I'll set it to 25 we'll hit F5 here actually maybe set it to something lower is what we want <laughs> speed so now it's going to be super slow. You can see how long it takes to catch up with our player. And if I was to jump down, whoo, you can see how slow it is to catch up with the player. The default is 5. Let's go ahead and set it back to the 5. Anytime you change any settings in any of these menus, you see this little uh, arrow with a circle, circular arrow here. Uh, if you click that, it will reset it to the, whatever the default is. So you don't have to remember, forget, worry about forgetting what the default is. We'll hit F5 now. It's smooth, but it's not super slow, and if I was to jump down, it kept up with me pretty well. If I was to fall really far, it might take a second for it to catch up. Uh, so yeah, we're, we have our camera following our player. Escape to get out of that. And again, to link the camera to the player, we just put the camera as a child of the player. And then we said over here, position smoothing and we're, we're not having the camera rotating but there is a smoothing for rotating if you have the camera rotate at all uh, and yeah we got a pretty good game going here this video is a little bit shorter than our previous games but I think that we're, we're doing well uh, I'm gonna stop here let me know what you think put uh, comments in the comment section and as always I hope that you have a great day